Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is my review for Greedfall on PC. This game is wonderful. It is... I guess it would be my first Souls-like ever because it is under that tag. I don't know how it's under that tag. But it is. So I guess it's my first ever Souls-like game. Don't ask me how it's under that tag, but it is. It's weird. But it's fun. It's not punishing. It's not challenging at all. It's I'm going to skip this part and get to something else. Because that's like a, kind of like a spoiler or whatever. I don't know. Well, not really. But honestly, this game, I recommend it. If you've not played it before, you should. You should, you should honestly play it. It is worth it. I am running the um, NVIDIA beta app, Sharpen Plus. So, that might be why some of the video quality looks, you know, bad in some spots. I don't know why it does that. Gra I mean, granted, the game does still hold out graphically without it, but... When you turn on the Sharpen Plus AI for NVIDIA, oh my god. It makes the games look so much freaking better. Holy cow. Like, if you don't have the new beta app for NVIDIA, and you have an NVIDIA card, get it. You will not regret it. The stuff you can do is amazing. I recommend it. It makes games look so much better. It makes them feel like a brand new game. Not all games though are will allow it. But ones that do, it makes them feel like brand new games. <coughs> but anyways, Greedfall. This game is it's fun. It has some flaws that you cannot jump to, you know, like, get down places quicker. You can jump, but only in certain spots. <clears throat> only, like, certain preordained spots. So, like, there's not really a jump mechanic. It's like a, a skill mechanic. That's, like, one of the only flaws the game has, which is not really a... I wouldn't really call it a flaw, it's a design choice. But does that break the scale of how it's rated? No. Because it makes you explore. It makes you explore the entire map the way it was the, the way it was intended to. And that's fine. Like when I first played a game on console, I hated the fact that you could not jump. But playing the game on PC, it's like, okay, not being able to jump around makes sense. Because it makes you, like I said, explore the entire area. Where you don't miss anything. So, it makes sense. The combat is, is amazing. It's fluid. Guns are... I never really dabbled in guns at all, my f my first time playing or second time playing. But I've read online that guns in Greedfall are just stupidly overpowered, or just completely silly. I don't know how, but they just are. Like I didn't read any of the articles saying you know explaining how they are, but. Just like the headlines. And I was like, okay, well. Good to know, I guess. But the, you have magic. You have, you know, you have like big weapons. You have like, you know, maces, hammers. Big giant swords. You have your regular swords. You have your regular maces and hammers. But when it comes to magic, you don't really have much for magic. 
which is fine. So if you want to be a magic user, you don't really have much. All you mostly have is like a heal, which does not really heal much, which is, I mean, it's fine. And you also have um, abilities that will put enemies into like a stasis lock. Downside to it is if you attack them. Was I don't agree with this. If you attack them, it's kind of like when you put an enemy to sleep and you hit them, they wake up or they get out of stasis. So I don't agree with that because hitting an enemy should not knock them out of stasis lock. They should remain in stasis lock, in my opinion. So I guess that would be a flaw the game has, in my opinion. But it's also a design choice. So, which I guess makes sense. I don't know. I guess it's hard to, I don't know. It's a flaw in my opinion, but it's also a design choice. So, yeah, I don't know. <coughs> it's weird. It's, it's a weird one. It's like, yeah, I don't know. But overall, the game is fun. It, it's... The native language that they made, I don't know if they made it up themselves or if it's like an actual, like, native language that they used but it's it's amazing i love it the fact that they actually went with the native side of the game is unique i i like that and i'm looking forward to the sequel it's going to be an early access for a while I'm not going to play Early Access. I'm going to wait till it's fully released and see what they do. I saw some of the combat mechanics. I'm not too impressed. I would prefer them to keep what they had, honestly. So maybe they'll change it during Early Access while they have time. Which, honestly, Early Access is a smart choice. All game studios should do it, honestly. But I would rate Greedfall 1. Well, technically, this is now Greedfall 2. And then Greedfall 2 is Greedfall 1. But they're calling it 2, which makes no sense because it takes place three years before this one does. Uh, I love how they name games. I really do. But anyways, Greedfall, this one. Which is now Greedfall 2, chronologically. I would rate this an 8.5. Because it has some flaws in it. You know, some personal flaws. They are design choices, I'm sure. But in my opinion, they are flaws. It is unfortunate. It happens, but anyways, this has been my review for Greedfall. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.